Hey, I'm Ryan. Um, we're here from So Is It Any Good. We're here today to talk about everything Star Wars The Force Awakens. This is going to be a spoiler heavy uh, video, so if you haven't seen the movie, check out now. Um, we're here with a huge panel of guests. I'm Ryan. Jared. Scott. Nick. Uh, we're all writers from the website, and we're just going to delve into the movie, talk about everything we thought, we liked, and we hated. Um, so first off, So Is It Any Good? Jared. Yes, a resounding yes. Yes, it is. That's exactly how I'd say it as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, what were the flaws? I felt it was a little lazy on the storytelling side. Ooh. Um, fine words. They are fine <laughs> words. I feel like at one Before point they just kind of went, you know what? We've done enough. It's Star Wars. Everyone will get it. Let's just get on with the action. And that's not what it's supposed to be about. Um, and then it felt super rushed after that. Everything was happening all over the place. It didn't have that kind of... It didn't feel as grand as it should. Even though they're destroying planets and blowing shit up, it still didn't have Again. that grand yeah. feeling that the originals did. It felt small and rushed. But look at the size comparison. It's clearly bigger and better. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Technically, yes. In case you didn't get it. But, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that's just one of the reasons as well that it's very similar to, you know, the, um, do we call them the originals? What's, yeah. what's the phrasing for it? The yeah. only other yeah. movies. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The yeah. only yeah. other yeah. movies. Yeah. Three films, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. And I actually That's wrote right. a list of the comparisons that you know, I think most people have picked up on. And even watching the originals again after watching the new one, the first 15 minutes of A New Hope, I'm there going, ah, oh, so it's an old lightsaber out of a box routine. Oh, yeah. it's, you know, similarities throughout, you know, being stuck on a desert planet, you know. There's, there's lists and lists. I mean, yeah, it references everything and basically redoes the plot but i don't care <laughs> no and that's I, it i don't that's give it. a shit i no. just don't give a shit it's done well uh all of the new characters are really interesting um the action scenes are uh, really good and um easy to understand it's they don't go into michael bay territory where everything is <laughs> just everywhere sure you can I follow can. people um you actually care about the fighter pilots at the end yeah, I just didn't give a shit that it was the same. <laughs> no, and that's it, because yeah. they, they took things you loved, like having, you know, she lives in an attack for God's sake. Yeah. It's like, okay, cool. And there's a chase scene through, was it one of the Imperial Star, Star Destroyers? Destroyers. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, all that little fanboy stuff's brilliant. Um, well, I saw it again. I've seen it twice now. Um, and a lot of the flaws I thought were... Um, I thought the resistance um, won won the battles too too easily, and they just kind of came out of nowhere and took over the joint. But on second viewing, I thought that um, most of that was actually just because I was sitting there going mm, Star Wars and missing out on um, most of the actual plot. Um, what do you think about uh, Kylo Ren? He was like a huge um, character coming into the trailers, and there was a lot of um, fan excitement about him. Did he live up to it? Did he bring it down? I feel Scott like I hated him again. Did I, you just hate the movie? No, no, I didn't general? hate him. I just hate him, and I think he's going to be an interesting character that's definitely going to play a big part. Right. Um, and I'm curious to see which way he goes because they're definitely showing that he wants to go to the good, but he also mainly wants to go bad, and he's sort of stuck. And it feels like it's not even. I don't know. Anyway, but I feel like a lot of people got his tattoo very prematurely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just like the, I've seen a lot of people um, make Captain Phasma costumes and hours spent on that. And Captain Who? Phasma. Was yeah. she even in it? Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, yeah. Yeah. She had like two uh, lines. Two uh, Captain Phasma was the chrome trooper that showed up for about two and a half minutes throughout the entire film. She's, and then got uh, apparently dumped in a go shoot. Yeah, well, so yeah, so yeah the planet apparently. Off, so I yeah. she's quite dead. Yeah, well, uh, they've got to bring her back because that's just... <laughs> <laughs> it just felt, it felt like there was just, just no point to her naming otherwise. her for branding as yeah. well. They, they did that at the start bit. They'd call each other by the name. Oh, BB-8. They must have said that about fifty times in yeah. the first ten minutes. Yeah, yeah. it was just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exa yeah, exactly. Until yesterday, I thought this was a stormtrooper. Then I realised, oh wait, it doesn't have that circle thing here. It's Captain Phasma, and I look uh, like an idiot because uh, it's clearly the character that was nothing. Um, and, and it looks cool though. She looks great and everything. But yeah, yeah they she don't really do anything no with point. it. And essentially, she's like a, a school mom. You know, she's looking after the, the naughty little stormtroopers, and yeah. one of them is rebelling. Yeah. Do you and think maybe they like, um, cut out some scenes? They must have. They must have. Who do you think Max von Sydow was playing? Because uh, it, it seemed like he was he was a character from Rumor a previous is, movie. Rumor is he's supposed to be some character from a previous movie. Yeah. Previous movie. Right. Well, but the character's name was um, uh, Law San Teca. Tika. 
however you pronounce it. Scott, I'll look at you for a pronunciation. So. You're, you're the guy that does all the <laughs> reading of everything in between the movies. Yeah, hey, uh, shut up. <laughs> I'm just saying, you'd be more... Uh, well, I, it, to be honest, I haven't seen him in anything. So I've read most of the canon um, books and the comic books but leading up to Journey of the Force Awakens. And you would think that he would appear in one of those, but he hasn't appeared in anything. Right. Um, so he was just straight up in the start of the movie, wiped out, gone away, played so, yeah. by a really big name actor. Um, so he had some connection to Kylo Ren because they knew each other. Yeah, and there was some feeling behind that strike down. Yeah, I feel like they. I feel like maybe he knew Luke. Um, yes. and was maybe well, had some sort of false connection, but I don't think he was a Jedi. Um, well, maybe he he was helping Luke with the Jedi training or whatever. Right. Or he's just his sat nav, you know. I'll put a map to where he is. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to stay there forever, is he? Yeah. Well, he's obviously some trusted confident because he had yeah. that. He had the that, key. That piece. Part so, of it, yeah. yeah. Uh, who do you think Snoke is? Whatever you want to call him, Gollum. <laughs> um, you know any CGI character you see, Snape, yeah. Emperor, you know, Emperor looks, Gollum. not Snape, yeah, sorry, and of, Voldemort. Reminded me, reminded me of Voldemort on the back of the head in yeah. the first um, Philosopher's yeah, Stone right. or Sorcerer's Stone, depending where you're coming from. My yes. my theory is that he's Plagueis. Um, I don't know if anyone knows who Plagueis is. Um, he was um, Darth Sidious' trainer. Um, he was his master. So Darth Sidious was Palpatine. And in that scene, in Episode Three, talks about how. Plagueis had worked out a way to um, use the Force to create life, and oh. um, he taught that power to um, the power to to um, to Palpatine, and then Palpatine killed him in his sleep. Or well, that's what Palpatine says: he killed him in his sleep, so he should be dead. However, if you look at um, Darth Plagueis, there's a novel called Darth Plagueis or Plagueis. Um, the the image on the front of it is quite literally the same shot as what's in Episode Seven of uh, Snoke, I think, Plagueis, this giant being and um, Sidious uh, sitting down the bottom, kind of like bowing to him in this really dark and blackened room. Um, and um, Plagueis is sort of like a human esque looking character in in the, in the novels, but he also is he's he's like a um, his species is a Mune or a Mun. Um, which kind of has an elong- elongated head, which was similar to what I thought that character looked like. Um, so that's my theory. I think he's Plagueis, um, and uh, would make him more powerful than Palpatine, and um, would also have him in that same kind of lineage of Sith lead- uh, Sith lords and stuff like that. What's the deal with the lightsabers and him? Everyone suddenly know allowing how to use them proficiently enough to take on everyone. <laughs> Like, so what's the question? When, okay. I, can, I can answer this one. I know I can. So Okay, so I've heard stories it. that only someone who's strong with the Force can operate a lightsaber. Correct. Um, but I think people who don't have the Force can use it. They're just not any good. So they won't have the reflexes to... Like deflate. Finn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Finn, on picking up one of these lightsabers, can actually take on Ren in a fight. In the last. Well. He got his ass kicked. Yeah. But... He did pretty well for a good five minutes or so. Yeah, and the same with Ray. You don't I think mean, you don't think Finn? Uh, sorry, not, um, not Finn. Um, Kylo Ren was almost toying with him, like he, the looks he was giving him, and the, the when the scene where he was pushed up against the the tree and you know, pressing that edge of his um, yeah. saber into his like shoulder. You don't think he was just kind of like, "Fuck off, mate! I ain't got no time for you." For someone who's a janitor, in all respect to clients <laughs> and everyone in that field. <laughs> But I'm not sure worker. sanitation worker could actually, you know, pick up a sword and straight away be able to do something like that. Well, he's that, going to be definitely thing. trained in in stormtrooper things, and you've also seen the stormtrooper with the riot gear that has the the baton. So why wouldn't he be trained in that? Not to not to battle you, but no, 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 no. The, please battle away, because yeah, because then I suddenly saw him take on the stormtrooper with uh, you probably know the name for it, the big uh, taser like gun thing. Yeah, taser baton. Yeah, that's, taser that's baton. That's sort official of thing. title. Yeah. Official title. But straight away, just like, oh look, there's a lightsaber. Look, let me just you know. Use that with but he also got his ass kicked by him too. It was only because of um, Han with Chewie's um, oh, yeah. awesome. uh, yeah, Bowcaster yeah, yeah. that he won that battle. Uh, he, 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 lost that both, he lost both. He lost both times. So, <laughs> but if you gave me a sword and I went up against someone with one of those things, yeah. I wouldn't last half as long as that. And I just think it felt like it was. It made it look easy. Whereas you look at Luke in A New Hope, and he's like spending ages trying to learn how to yeah. use it. It just felt too easy for a lot of these guys. And unless there is a bit of the force in him, I don't know. It could be. Um, the, only, the only thing I have to say towards that is, is that they're all trained. Like, to say the Stormtroopers are trained from the same, like, day of birth kind of thing mm. all the way up. 
Um, that's uh, where it comes into play. Yeah, Poe is li- clearly quite not Poe. Sorry, Finn is quite clearly good with blasters and whatever he kind of picks up. Maybe he's quite good with weaponry, and that guy might not be very good with blasters. That's why he has the baton thing because yeah. he's rubbish at everything else. That that kind of like makes every stormtrooper. Ever. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it comes from a long lineage of yeah. shitty fiery stormtroopers. Great <laughs> aim. <on the storm. laughs> Um, no, that does kind of make sense. Cause his I guess father if he's was probably the one that battled his head. And, and <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, that does make sense if they're trained to something similar, like yeah. the stun but yeah. that kind of thing. And then, so um, and I had the same sort of problem with Ray. The way um, everyone else, it takes ages to learn how to use these things, and then Ray suddenly could pick one up and use it as as well as everyone else. And right. I'm sure she's strong in the force, and maybe it's a new type of skill that comes with being someone being that good in the force oh, yeah. I can just do this straight away but it felt like you know in the original movies there was so much discipline and training and learn you know training with Yoda etc yeah, or, or yeah. Obi-Wan More it was like learn skill rather yeah. than uh, hey you can now do that yeah it's yeah. like oh look this is what that does okay cool and you know for me, that just felt a little bit too easy. Same with the Fair enough. Falcon. I but maybe guess. that's the time um, issue. When she took over well, the Falcon, and she was suddenly amazing at flying. And see that I can understand more because that's her background, and she's trained and all that sort of stuff. And I guess she's also trained in using that the boat. staff, yeah, yeah, staff thing. So mm-hmm. I um, think it's just a yeah. They should that she could handle herself before that. And that was that was one of the funny. And, and this movie is funny as well. Yeah. But one of the funny moments is where she's getting beaten up by the guys trying to take take BB-8, yeah. and Finn's running in like a hero, and then he just stops, and it's like, oh, she's, okay, she's fine. <laughs> yeah. you know. Fair enough. Um, all right. So the last thing I want to ask is the biggest spoiler of the movie. How do you all feel about Han dying? I'm glad. Oh, sh- you are the like you just cracking out things. I have unexpected whoa. Scott. Just, we'll call you unexpected just, Scotty. I like it. Someone needed to die, <laughs> and, just, it, and it had to be Han. It had to be Han. Who else was it going to be? Oh, they killed that. Well, it definitely um, killed her top and, lip. And if <laughs> um, sorry, <laughs> was that CGI under her eyes? It occasionally, she just looked really soft, like someone had CGI to yeah. get rid of the bags and stuff. Um, that was the Vaseline on the lens. I mean, it bummed. Yeah, but I'm also I could see that it needed to be done. Yeah, and it was done well. They they didn't. Yeah, they didn't stuff it up at all. It was like it, a. It was an it was an emotional ending. It, it, it was a half-assed two. Luke and Vader moment. Yeah, if you're gonna kill your father or have a fight with yeah. your dad, you might as well do it on a. Big, big catwalk. With big ga- drop below I you. Think no safety a, rails. I think that's a prerequisite. Why do they not put safety rails on any of these? It's not the Death Star. It's the same issue. It is you know. crazy. They don't have no, any. They don't call it safety star. It's not the budget. It's not the budget. How are they going to kill the characters? Um, but yeah, for me, luckily, I don't know how I managed to forget that there was talk about this being his last movie and yeah. all that sort of stuff. So if I had have had that in front of mind, that would have really you know annoyed me. Yeah. But um, yeah, it was still, I wanted Ren to actually, you know, turn to the good. I was still really optimistic. And some people, it was just like an obvious, he's going to die because he's not doing any more movies. He said he'd come back for this one. Yeah. Um, whereas for me, I was sort of almost a bit optimistic. I'm like, oh, look, he could. And then he's yeah, like, yeah. let go of the lightsaber, mate. <laughs> <laughs> You're oh, almost there. there. Oh, kill yeah. one. And then for me, no, the weirdest no, part no. about that was I'd actually kind of lost track, to be fair, of why they were planting these bombs and what... Finn and Ray were doing up the top and how everyone had like this kind of lovely little view of yeah, what was yeah, going yeah. on and then why they needed to go up there for whatever that's just me not paying attention I'm sure um, but then they were pulling out fuses and then suddenly they were outside yeah so it all felt very they were there for that specific reason yeah. so all in all are you excited about episode eight? Episode eight. Will you see it? And will you see it at twelve o'clock midnight session? Of course. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. I'm still very excited, what, but what I don't is the think... reason why? Sorry. Oh, I like to sleep. Oh, I like to sleep. Yeah. So <laughs> that actually, yeah. you don't hate the movie. You no, don't no, hate the movie no, no, at all. You no. just, no. just want to sleep. Fair yeah. enough. Sorry, Nick. I th- um, I'm excited, but I don't think anyone could be as excited as they were for this time. Right? No. no. I mean, no. unless they release an incredible trailer. And yeah. The thing is, we probably answered a lot of the questions in this one. Like, if you show a character from the Force, they'll be like, oh, well, I know who that is. There's no mystery there. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Unless, you know, Captain Phasma comes back or her and Poe probably have like a separate thing together where you know I mean I feel like that's a whole Triangle. deleted scene itself yeah because they weren't in the first, that movie yeah. that's right you know, um, yeah they had an adventure in that missing hour yeah well, <laughs> it's just a, like a spin-off TV series yeah yeah like a couple but no I'm looking forward to I think I think yeah. I'll take my kids to see that one the first time I watch it this time around right because I'm going to watch it with them again and see their reactions 
I'm, I'm pretty excited. I don't think Ryan Johnson has the same sort of chops that J.J. Abrams does, but I'm a huge J.J. Abrams fan, so that's probably me just geeking out. But all in all, I think it's going to be still pretty good. Yeah. Um, hopefully Johnson will pull it off. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, so that's it for today. Um, if you want to check us out more, head to the website, um, sellsanyingood.com, or head to our Facebook and give us a like on facebook.com, sellsanyingood. That's us. Sure, yeah. Come on. We're home. <laughs>